right, welcome back to your balanced diet of Teletainment this um, beautiful um, month. It's Wednesday. Wednesday it's morning. <laughs> Why I want it to be Monday? No, it no. shouldn't be Monday. Wednesday morning, <laughs> yes. We get the casual guests in the house, especially for those who want to actually invest, but they don't know the right investment platform to chuck eye and leg inside. That's now why we get this casual guest in the house. Just to tell you some other things about this um, guest we get. She's an experienced investment lawyer and a vice president and assistant general counsel at JP Morgan. This one, a global investment bank, where she they advise institution, institutional investors. Now, Ukala also recently, she don't found one particular project uh, where she called Impact Her as a product of her observation for inside the African entrepreneurship space. Now, what did she they do? We say she they organized training um, to actually train women with top-notch speakers and um, charging women to prepare them, um, their self for investors, basically to help them um, prepare themselves for investors. Um, that's now why we get this confirmed person, F.A. Ukala, inside the house. Good to have you. Thank you so much. It's, it's she now you Oyibo. She's going to speak plenty of Oyibo. <laughs> but... Nigeria Oyibo. Nigeria Oyibo. <laughs> so please, you will just bear with her a little bit. So tell us about Impact Her. Thank you so much for having me on the show, by the way. Um, Impact Her focuses on teaching women two things. First, um, to build scalable businesses, meaning um, going from maybe one shop to multiple shops, basically like the Taras of the world. Um, and then secondly, become investor ready for you to grow your business, for you to grow um, legacy businesses, for you to become like a dangote in the world. You need money. You need investors to come in. So we teach women those two things during our training programs. Okay, so um, this kind of training program where we say Una they do now. Now for people where we say um, don't read to a certain level, where we say don't get you know some kind of formal educational training, or people where we say you know market where we say they do business, or person where we say never to get too much formal education, then fit attend this kind um, training. So we don't have any educational requirement. The only requirement we have is that you have to have business for at least two years. So even if you have a store and you feel like, okay, I want to have this store such that my great granddaughter can inherit from this business, uh, we don't believe that formal education is necessary to be able to build the you know, best in class businesses. Yeah. Well, I'm very interested in why you decided to come because I know so you know the state for Nigeria. Yeah. You're not a person with the state for inside America. Why you decide to come to Nigeria mm -hmm. to impact women on how to prepare um, themselves for investors? Why? Um, for, for one, in terms of investment, Nigeria, you cannot talk about you know, the global investment landscape without talking about a country like Nigeria. Nigeria plays a very huge role in that, especially in the Africa story, um, for one. Secondly, I have done a lot of investments um, as a lawyer, structured investments into Nigeria, Kenya, Madagascar, Ethiopia. And something kept on, I kept on observing something. There weren't enough women in the playing field. In the, in, the, in the investment space. And even when they were women, it was always something that didn't allow them to qualify to reach that finish line to be able to get that investment money. So it was always something stopping women, holding them back. Um, as a result of that observation, I said that doing research, they said, okay, is this just my observation or is this a global problem? Um, meaning an African problem, rather. The more research I did, I found out that the IFC, which is the... Um, International um, Financial Corporation, part of the World Bank, had um, put together a study that said that about 300 billion financing gap for women mm -hmm. globally in the entrepreneurship space. When we talk about Africa, AFDB said 42 billion for African women. As a result, you know, I figured I have to be part of the solution. We have to create a solution. We cannot keep, you know, keeping women on, you know, the back burner. And as a, a result, you know, I started Impact Her. But most importantly, you cannot talk about the Africa investment story without talking about Nigeria. So it made logical sense that this had to be in Nigeria to start with. Or, okay, so um, this program now, this impacts her now, now three days program. Correct. Right? So what kind of um, programs then go to teach the women we say go attend this, um, com this three day conference? Yeah, so we're actually on our third day now. Um, we've had the first and second day. Um, we had that um, 
during that first and second day, the first day we focused on scaling. So we got individuals that had already scaled their businesses. Um, for example, Nike, Mrs. Nike Maje Kudumi from Nuts About Cake um, was a speaker and she talked about her experience in scaling and avoiding disaster when scaling, because it's... Okay, make I just cut you short, there's yeah. more. You they talk scaling, scaling. What do you mean the meaning of this scaling when we say you do talk? So maybe people So, don't yeah, understand. so scaling means you're going from one store or you don't even have a store. For example, we had someone that came to the program last year that she was just still selling her products with no store within six months of the program and applying what she'd learned. She opened a store in Ibadan. Right, so you go from having maybe no location to having a store, from having one store to having five stores. Again, it's you think about it like you know building a business that when everybody see that brand, they say, ah, this is in Port Harcourt, ah, this is in Aba, this is in Lagos. That's what I mean by scaling. Okay. 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 So tell us more about um, within the within the good lane as yeah. regards to. This so thing. what they learn is how to do business correctly how to structure it so that when investors come in, if, if they want investors, when they come in, they're a bit more ready. You know, because investors would not just invest in any business. If, even if you're the best business, if you have no structure, investors wouldn't touch you. So we want them to look very um, interesting to investors. So we, we, we prepare them um, for that. What about how to position yourself for um, investment opportunities? We, correct. So the second day, we like yesterday, we had someone from the IFC mm -hmm. come in, the, the regional head um, for venture um, capital investing in Africa, um, was there to talk to the women about um, how to position themselves, what kind of businesses the IFC is, uh, um, is interested in. We had people from even this private equity firms. Private equity firms are the people that actually would seek this kind of businesses to invest in. So yesterday we focused on that, where these people actually came to us and said, this is what we look for and this is how you position yourself. So today we'll be saying the last day at the grand finale. What are we going to learn today now? Today we are working with the support of Google um, to teach them how to use digital media mm. to yeah. expand their business. Okay. So at certain at nine today, we will be at Google in Ikoyi, their facility, um, where we would have a four hour power training session, where those that don't even have website will have a web page provided mm. to them by Google. So we've asked them, come with your product description, come with a photo of your of your business or goods or services so that we can work with you. And all of them that come today would get verified by Google oh, and they nice. would get a certificate right. from, they right. get their verification from California. Wow. That is Google headquarters. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Good you. Job. Good <laughs> Thank job. You. Now, I, before we actually, because time will be our friend sure. of the show, last year's training, Correct. which of the changes where you don't see on some of the women we attend the training. Correct, and as I said earlier, um, a lot of them are, are improved, they're applying those skills. In fact, when I spoke to one of the ladies who um, she produces um, natural sheer products for hair, mm -hmm. um, as I said, she, for one, she opened her store and she said, look, F.A., when I went back, I was looking at my notes and mm -hmm. consulting my notes mm -hmm. before, you know, I took major steps. Mm -hmm. and, and she's actually on our Instagram page, so we posted a picture of her to say, hey, this is what she has done. This is how she had applied mm -hmm. the program. Um, some other lady um, also applied those, um, what she learned from the training to opening a school for the disabled children wow. here in Lagos. Wow, that's that's really, really amazing. amazing. <laughs> then you yes. do lots of so, follow-up yes. then. Yes, yes. I beg your pardon? You do lots of follow-up. Yes, yes. Yeah. So it's we not do. Just doing the training, no, you do no, follow. no. So that's our feeling because I told, I tell the women, look, you know, I will follow up with you if I can get five investment ready women out of each class. That is success. Mm. Yeah. So how many women are you training now? Right now we're training about forty-five. But we keep it small. We don't want to do a conference style 100, 200. We keep it small because even during the training, um, for example. Um, one-on-one -on -one interaction. Exactly, one-on-one -on -one interaction. On Monday, um, a lady called Nicole Yembra, who is a CFO of a venture group here in Lagos, actually brought them out and broke down their business. So she, she interacted with them. She said this is, was not working. She brought them to the front of the class. She said this isn't working, this is what you need. And then she gave her, their peers, other people attended the program, opportunities to ask questions and observe why something isn't working and how they can improve. It's really nice. And, all and is it a yearly event? Sorry. Yes, it is free. Wow. Yeah. And is it yearly? 
we will be having other about two more this year. So we, we yeah, so we started last year. Um, the goal is to have at least two or three each year. And Fidelity actually was also supportive this year. Um, they came in to talk about the, the, um, pr the products they have for women, whereby um, they have structured a product whereby women don't need collateral. That's really good. So just quickly, long. tell yeah. us about, tell us the website in case anybody will get business one going to them. Sure, www.impacthar.org www.impacthar.org All right, so it's there for your screen. So please, please, if you get business and you they look for ways on how to attract investors, yes, may so. there be plenty of money to boost that your business. Mm -hmm. Or you they look for ways on how to use digital uh, space to promote your business. Mm -hmm. This one I bet sat training where you need to attend. And it's free. Three days training and they will bring these Kajak people to come speak to and you fact, so about how to boost day. your business. So make sure so you register there and another one goes to Shelly again this year. Mm -hmm. Maybe like the end of the year. November, definitely November one, maybe November. in the summer, but definitely November. So make sure so you go <laughs> register now so that you can attend the training. Thank you so much. Thank Effie you. Kala. Very good thing where you actually do to impact okay. Nigerian women. Thank you. Very good one. All right, we're going to need to buy a small break. And when we come back, Ben Akede, go there inside the studio with Jude Otibo for Sports Power. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.